Okay, so before I get started on packaging, I just wanted to mention that since I live in a studio apartment, I don't have room um, for a separate table to work on my orders, so I bought this laptop table. It's pretty compact, but it's big enough for me to be able to uh, work on orders without taking up so much room in my apartment. You can find this. I bought this one at Ross. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but it was pretty cheap. Here is the, the legs, which you can bring down and then it becomes flat so you can just store it anywhere. So this is what I'm going to be using when I package my orders. Okay, so I have all my materials for packaging these small stickers. So basically what you need if you are going to use a stamped envelope, which I suggest because it is very cheap, you just you need your sticker. And this is the one I'm using for this video. And then you're going to need a clear envelope. This one's 3x3. Three three. I purchased this from Paper Mart. This box. Right here, Paper Mart. I'll provide a link in the description. I like to include a thank you note, which has my logo. And then it has all my social medias. It reminds the customer to leave a review. So there's that, and what I like to do is in the back, since it's blank, I like to leave a personal handwritten thank you note, just to add, you know, a personal touch to it. So there's that, and then of course the envelope, block out the address. So what I like to do is, instead of having just a boring envelope, I like to use stamps, just to give it, you know, a nice touch, so it's not, you know, just a boring envelope you get in the mail. So you need the stamp and then you should put your return address at the top in case the post office can't deliver they'll return it to you. Envelope, the thank you note, thank you note, and then the clear envelope to protect the sticker in case the envelope does get wet. Sticker will still be okay because it's in a you know a clear envelope. So that's basically all you need and each forever stamp, um, well the domestic one, which is this one, it's uh, 55 cents right now. This one, international orders, I don't remember how much this one is, but it's pretty cheap too. There is sometimes the issue that it might get lost, it's pretty rare that it'll get lost, but I think even if it gets lost, you know, you can just send another one and it won't be as costly as if you were to send it using first class or something. I've sent, I, I don't know how many, um, just a lot. And I've only had like maybe two get lost in the mail. But I've been in business for like almost three years so that's not much. So I recommend doing that and then for the thank you cards all I do is I use cardstock just so you know it's a thick material. But cardstock is very inexpensive and I'll include a link to the one I use. And I just suggest that you add, you know, your either your contact information or like I do my, all my social medias. Pretty much it for the stamped envelope option. So for the packaging stickers, there's a different process that I use. I have this, so here's my, you know, some of my packaging stickers. I have this stiff envelope that I get from Amazon that I'll also include a link to. I use this clear envelope again from Paper Mart and I'll also include the link for that. I have a, a thank you card and these are smaller than the ones I mentioned for the envelopes. They still have the same information, you know, it has all my social medias, it has my logo. They're just smaller because you're trying not to have your package weigh so much so that you don't have to spend so much on shipping or charge so much on shipping. I put the packaging stickers in this envelope, I include the thank you card, and I also include a packing slip. And there's a way I do those so that it's not a full page, so you save on paper, which I'll um, talk about in just a second. The packaging stickers the thank you card and the packing slip and then just put it in this envelope in case the package gets wet the stickers will be okay 
And then sometimes I like to include freebies if I have any. And then when I have it uh, packaged, when you know you fold this and you close it, I like to put one of my packaging stickers just to say thank you. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the packing slip. Before I teach you guys a trick to make the mini packing slips, I want to go over one thing that Etsy has changed. And it's this right here. So when you want to print out the packing slips, make sure to click on customize and check this order receipts. Unless you really need you know, printed receipts, this isn't really necessary and you're just printing out a lot more than you need to. You really just need the packing slips. Go ahead and click on print packing slips. And what I do is I go on the top menu, which you can't see, um, but you go to file. So you go to file, print, I already have a preset to packing slip. You're going to choose 4 by 6 that's what I assume has worked for me, 4 by 6 vertical, and then 40% scale, and then just normal for this. And what you're going to do is instead of clicking all, you're going to click, you're going to print out one by one. So right now, even though I have two that I need to print out, I'm just going to print out one. And then when that's printed out, what you do is you, you flip the page over and put it back into the printer. And then you print the second one. And then if you need four, because you can fit four on one page because they're so tiny, basically all you do is you keep flipping the page. But basically that's the settings that you need to make them small and they can fit four on one 8.5 by 11 standard uh, paper, printing paper. So yeah, that's... That's it.